Welcome back to Busting Addiction and Its Myths, brought to you by Safe House Rehab Thailand, which now has a spectacular new beach location near Hua Hin, Thailand. Our goal, from beginning to end, is to give you and your loved one the very best chance of a complete recovery. And to that end, you can't imagine a more serene yet astonishing setting than our location near the beach in Dolphin Bay. With the sea a short walk in front of us and the awesome Samrayat National Park Mountains behind our facility, we offer the most peaceful sanctuary one could possibly imagine to begin the journey of complete recovery. Dr. John kabat the man who had more to do with bringing mindfulness meditation to the Western world than probably anyone else. He paved the way for the likes of Thich Nhat Hanh, a Vietnamese monk who came to the U.S. after the war in Vietnam. He preached humility, compassion, and mindfulness. Better than most, he understood the value and power of the present moment. He is quoted as saying, You have to realize that happiness is not something that you find at the end of the road. You have to understand that it is here and now. We can interpret wherever you go as moving from place to place, or we can see it as a definition of personal time. You can live in tomorrow, you can live in the past, or you can live in the only reality there really is, which is the now. So wherever you go, you cannot outrun yourself. If you live with the suffering provoked by a personal crisis, such as a relapse by a loved one, the destruction of family life as a result of addiction, or having your loved one arrested for his fifth drunk driving, whatever the case, you are likely to be in fear of the future or you will waste time by replaying the past, the video I call it. I was taught that it's okay to replay the video to see what I might learn, but I shouldn't stare at it either. I was also taught that I have responsibility for planning for the future, but I do not have to live there. But when you get caught up in family crises, rarely will you be fully present in the now, and that's understandable. The irony is that the only place that you may find redemption is in the now. Sounds insane, doesn't it? John Kabat-Zinn pioneered a program at the University of Massachusetts Medical Center a generation ago that has been replicated by medical professionals thousands of times. It consists of eight weeks of meditative practice where each participant spends 45 minutes every day in mindfulness meditation in the now. The program is called Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction. Patients come to the MBSR clinic suffering from stress-related disorders and have not found an answer having visited psychiatrists and psychotherapists, trying various medications, going to retreats or rehabs, and so on. These disorders revolve around anxiety, including panic disorders and depression, often a combination of the two. Dr. kabat success rate, as measured by patient-reported relief and a return to contented living, is higher than any other form of treatment and ranges in the upper 80 percentile. Let's address the question, how is this possible? Let's do that in the following way. First, it's important to know that stress is not about the circumstances that led you to it. It's about how you respond to your environment. It's about the person, not the event. We see two people react to the same type of stressors in entirely different ways. Joel rolls with life's punches, and Jack is a nervous wreck but they are both having the same type of stressor. Losing a good job, Joe accepts it. Jack rebels and gets angry and depressed. Same type of stressor, two different reactions. How does learning to live in the now and the present moment become the healer of pain for the patients who walk in with it to the MBSR clinic? First, most people actually need to be trained to live in the moment. The frenetic pace of their lives has them 100% conditioned to react instantly to any stimulus. They worry about tomorrow and beat themselves up for the things that they did yesterday. Society has taught them that they are never enough. People who suffer from anxiety and depression, common among families who suffer with alcoholism and or addiction, cannot see how mindful living could heal them. It dawns on them after practicing mindfulness that what they are learning to do is to eliminate the fear of the future as it doesn't exist in reality, and to not stare at the videotape of the past as it is only a memory trace. They realize, after all, that there's no hope of a better past, and the future is just an idea in their minds. They begin to notice things that they never noticed before on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and to begin, they begin to have newfound compassion for themselves. In the MBSR clinic, patients are taught that the mind and body are actually one, 
and that beliefs, attitudes, thoughts, and emotions can harm or heal. So it is in the practice of mindfulness, in the commitment to get past the natural resistance to step into the unknown, that people begin to find wonder and joy in daily life every day and every moment, regardless of the circumstances in which they find themselves. That's the whole point of this essay. In the last few years, meditation apps have become very popular and are widely available and many are free. I also highly recommend the books Full Catastrophe Living and the aforementioned Wherever You Go, There You Are, both authored by John Kabat-Zinn, Ph.D., as a way of getting started on your journey out of the regrets of the past and fears of the future into the peace that comes with living moment by moment. It takes a commitment to change the way you think and the way you live, a tall order, but not an impossible one for those who seek a better way of life, no matter what's happening to them. What did we learn today? We learned that, one, it's common for people to be constantly thinking about something other than the reality of the present. Two, there's a huge difference between planning for the future and living in it. And three, there's ultimately much joy to be had from living in the moment, regardless of a person's circumstances. But it takes commitment and practice. This podcast is sponsored by Safe House Rehab Thailand with a new beach location near Hua Hin, offering the best chance of a complete recovery because families today are facing new challenges and deserve a better way forward. All in the warm embrace of our staff and our welcoming environment, unsurpassed anywhere in Thailand.